So it takes more than healthy food to be healthy. I mean, you could eat the healthiest food in the world and be fighting with your spouse, hate your job, have no you know, spiritual foundation, be a couch potato. That looks just like my cat, by the way. Can you see that, that little fat cat <laughs> holding a soda? I love that. Anyway, um, and I'm, I'm, actually a, I'm actually an example of this. I was eating the best foods. I went to acupuncture school. I drank the most disgusting herbs you've ever had. I, I did a lot of gross things to be well, but I found that the underpinnings of my heart were filled with self-loathing and unworthiness. And um, it didn't matter how well I ate, and it didn't matter how much um, meditation I did, and it didn't matter how many needles I had in my body. I, I needed to study higher medicine than that. I, I realized that the poisons of self-hatred are stronger than the antidotes of all the things that I, I was doing externally. So I really did start studying a higher medicine, which was self-love, really, self-love and self-care. I think a lot of people know what to do in order to be well, but they don't love themselves up enough to do it. It's something I just said to my son as I sent him off to college. Oh, I was worried about him. Is he going to be okay? And I thought, he knows what to do. I just hope he loves himself enough to do it. And he's, he's, doing, he's doing okay, I'm so proud to say.